Hey everybody, welcome back for our final E3 press conference recap. That's right, we're wow. not doing Nintendo. We're not doing Nintendo. I'm so tired. Well, depending on what it is, who knows? Re they already said it's only going to be Zelda. No, they said they're only going to show Zelda on the floor. Okay, that's Zelda right. could. Well, it's going to be better than Ubisoft, so maybe we might. All right. Well, anyway, this is Sony. <laughs> not showing up is better than Ubisoft. <laughs> After the Ubisoft press conference, we were all understandably a little down, so we went and had some dinner. And angry, a little bit angry too. <laughs> went to Joel's house, and then we knew it was going to be good when right at the start of the Sony press conference, Bear McCreary, my favorite composer. What is he known for? Uh, Battlestar Galactica, Outlander, Black Sails, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., The Walking Dead, 10 Cloverfield Lane. So he's, a he's, bunch of he's sort of yeah. a song or two. Yeah, he's prolific. Yeah. He's prolific. <laughs> and they started, uh, they did like a four minute just orchestral intro. There's nothing going on. They, they, they knew but, they were but like, it was just like James says, cleansing the palate of Ubisoft. <laughs> like, we want to get that out of people's minds. And they started playing like the heavy drums and everything. And you we could definitely tell what it was for. We thought it probably sounded like God of War. And, but they went for a full song. It wasn't just like a little intro. They, they went for a, pretty much a full song. They went to another movement, I guess you would call it, in classical yeah. music. And then. The screen kind of fades up, and <laughs> Joel it's... performed a movement in, <laughs> in excitement. And, and then, it's a, and then so there's, there's a kid going like, "Oh, we're going out hunting and stuff." And there's someone in the you shadows know, talking really in a deep, deep voice, course. and I'm like, "It's probably God of War." But then the boy's dad comes into the spotlight, and it's Kratos with it's, a full beard. It's old Kratos older. with a beard. Uh, and then there's and a live the whole, demo. The whole style of it just looked yeah. So it was a, like a live demo of like God of way War. more real, like mm -hmm. grounded. I feel than than a little bit more of the heroic. Like I don't know. It was more painter esque in the other ones. Like they're re like they're gritty, but they're way more colorful. And this one was just like well, they a lot more the graphics. To yeah, push uh, no, 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 the last one was early PS3. It was mid PS3 life cycle. Yeah, that's so. true. But so this was a, a live demo of God of War, and I guess the first thing we would notice is that it plays totally different. It's not the, you know, kind of pulled back super hack and slash game. It kind of looked like The Last of Us. You're following your kid through the forest while he hunts and it's kind of a close up camera, two thirds of the screen, you know, offset. And it looked amazing. I and mean, what well, do you guys think? For me, after watching so many damn trailers all day long, seeing just going straight into gameplay footage was fantastic. Oh yeah. yeah. And that was a good way to start. And the orchestra played live during the... Oh, that during was during most, every, during mo most every... Most of them, not all of them. Yeah, every, every Sony I guess and then Star stuff, Wars, yeah. and yeah. we'll get to that, but... It was fantastic. I think it was a really good looking demo. I really oh, yeah. liked the new, the new style. Yeah, they made graphics look amazing. Yeah, it almost kind of reminded me a little bit of how you control Gears of War. Like, it has that slightly off-center. Yeah, that's what, that was what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, that was, that was neat. I, and I... I would bet that there's going to be some battles where the camera does actually pull back a little bit and you, it has a bit of the original Kratos kind of like fighting. Mm -hmm. But I think for any of the like, you know, anything just minimal battles, it'd probably be close. I think that'd be my guess. And uh, there was quick time events. We saw the return of those, and everything looked pretty scripted. Like it's obviously a scripted demo, even though it's being played live. Um, but look, I mean, it looks like, like also the early level. So yeah, but it looks tutorials. How the snow really gave. Well, I really feel like this has been the year for snow effects. <laughs> I haven't seen any bad snow effects, but um, I can't really decide if God of War or uh, that other Ubisoft thing came out ahead. Steep, steep. Yeah, I mean it's, it's probably it's really God of War because it looks like a game I want to play, and steep it's, does not. Effects wise, though, from a snow perspective, I think it's neck and neck. Okay, all right. <laughs> from a snow's eye view. <laughs> Yeah, with God of War, everybody was cheering pretty much the whole thing, and from that, they went right into a trailer for Sony Bend's new game. We've been waiting ever since Uncharted Golden Abyss to hear what Sony Bend has been up to. It's been about four years since Uncharted Golden Abyss was released. And uh, their new title is Days Gone, and it was a really good trailer. With yeah, Sam Witwer. Sam Witwer playing... Who basically, was, he was, Jack a, he was in the Force Unleashed. Like that he, was, he had character. played Battlestar Killer. Killer. He was on Battlestar Galactica. He was on the show um, Becoming Human. Becoming Human. That's what yeah. it was. He's in the movie Mist too. Uh, he's, but got a, he's got a pretty good career. Looks like it's yeah. going to probably be a single player, heavily story focused game uh, about a post apocalyptic world. And this guy is the former very member of a biker world, gang. Though. It does. Uh, I don't know. It is looting. It does have looting, that's true. So it looks it could be like last of and, us. And and they called into a location, so we went directly to a location. 
Like you that's could have true. driven off somewhere else. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it's full open world because I, I was looking at kind of the arena area and it felt like it had borders. Like they had like rocks and then like a lower poly like pine forest surrounding the area where the game was taking place. So it might be kind of hub based like Last of Us or maybe partially open world like um, what was the zombie State game on decay? Xbox? State of Decay? State of Decay, yeah, yeah. Like that, where it's that like was a small, enough, smaller open yeah. world. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked really good though. But that, that was just the announcement of it and the trailer, really good trailer. Uh, of course, no announcement of a release date. Then they showed a trailer for The Last Guardian with a release date of October 25th. Now, I was actually a little bit disappointed. I would expect after so many years of development and being this close to re release, we would have seen like actual gameplay. Yeah. Maybe they well, figured nobody really... I mean, the, the last one they showed was a good 15 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, they showed gameplay. And for most of theirs, time. they don't show much because their games are really shrouded in mystery and, like, mm -hmm. like big reveals. I mean, they really only need to go out there and get the date. All they had to do was show the logo like, of the date. I don't want to see any more gameplay. I'm I just want to play <laughs> it. Like, I know it's, I know it's going to be phenomenal. Like... I, I don't really care about seeing more game because I don't want to because there's someone that's already someone already saw some other footage and was really pissed at what he saw because it was a huge reveal and I, was, I almost looked at it I was like oh, I'm not going to hold back there's a huge twist in the game that got revealed already apparently. I, I'm not sure about the whole phenomenal thing just because it's been in development for so long yeah but the and other games held up so well even they, they did years but ago. the story of how this game was made has got to be like there had to be bad stuff going on like but there had to be if, studio but here's trouble. the thing: if you're gonna, if you're planning to get it already, if you're at all interested in it, why, why do you need to be more convinced on saying, seeing an hour of gameplay to go, oh, well, it's, is this gonna be good or not? Like, if you're not convinced in those 15 minutes of like what it is, that kind of game, what else is gonna convince you? I guess that's the kind me. of game you wait till like the couple days before, and then they start doing release for reviews. And that's when you make your decision. Yeah, I mean, like, if, if it bombs, then you don't buy it. If, 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 if it gets above came out, eight, it's like, yeah. then you buy it. If it was like a six, you're like, what the heck was wrong with it? Like, <laughs> outside of maybe they have like performance issues, I think the game's gonna be probably a nine out of ten or a ten. Uh, I'm I'm withholding judgment just because it's it's been so long since the last one, and who knows like how put together this game is, how long it is. How the gameplay is like that one little area. To that's work. why I would have liked to see some gameplay, yeah. just because we still really don't know anything about how the game is going to play. Like that little demo last year was very canned, um, just to show that hey, the game exists. Like that was the reveal of the game after so many years. So I, I don't know. I kind of this might be the type of game as spoiler free as possible. I think I want to watch some actual gameplay footage of before I think about getting it, just because it's it's such a well, I mean, you're much more leery on this kind of stuff than I think. Like, I, I, I feel like I can tell like pretty quickly if a game. I, I think, think you're just hyped. Or not. I think no, you're hyped. Well, I've read way more way more articles about hype usations. Like, <laughs> probably like because yeah. I've just assumed it's been canceled for the last five years, <laughs> like most people. Oh yeah, I mean, I've been following. You've probably read a lot more Half Life Three articles than me too, but most of them are full of shit. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> so we went ones or not. <laughs> so we went from The Last Guardian into a live, pretty extended gameplay demo for Horizon Zero Dawn, which I think was awesome. That looks yeah. fun. Because we saw the the small demo last year, but especially since they delayed the game, I think this is a good way of showing like, hey, the game still looks awesome. Like people yeah. were excited they were gonna be playing it in a few months. They're not going to, it's gonna be longer than that, but the game looks really, really yeah. good. And it does. Like it, it has looks loot and dialogue trees. Ah. <laughs> and that's like almost had quests. <laughs> like they almost had quests. <laughs> I'm sure they have it does. Quests. You know, I think the only thing I was worried about in it is if it does have quests, that means it's gonna be a long game. Maybe. Or, or it could it be a long game. I mean, game. You, like Mass Effect 2, you could play in like 20 hours. I mean, and that had dialogue. You could? <laughs> what was that Did number? you play that game in 20 hours? Yeah. I think Did so. you run through it? No. <laughs> I play games. Did you not side quests? I did. Did you not? Explore? Did you not buy the fish for Mass Effect Two? Did you not, <laughs> did you not ex go to every planet look for resources? I mined a lot of resources, but did it's you boring. shake all the doors to see if they were actually real doors you could go inside of? <laughs> <laughs> it was a last gen game. Didn't take that long. <laughs> uh, but what do you guys think of, let's say, the combat? Um, I, I, I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the only thing that kind of the the game kind of reminds me of a little bit is Far Cry Three and Four. Yes. And, um, and <clears throat> I hope it's not just like capture territory kind of thing, go to the next. If it's a little bit less, I, I honestly, I really hope it's a lot less open world than it kind of seems to be. Because um, it looks like a really interesting story, and I feel like the more open world you get sometimes, the story 
always suffers. Joel yeah, wants Joel. open world Zelda. He wants open world Mario, but he doesn't want open world open world game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think some are just some are sometimes just way too big and bloated, and yeah. that kind of like suffers. That was it. a lot of people's but. criticism of The Witcher. They're wrong, but that was a lot of people's criticism <laughs> of The Witcher. It wasn't. It's too. I can see what they're saying. Like you know, as soon as you load into the game, there's like. One thousand things you can, you can get, get yeah. anywhere you want. You don't right. have to like. You're so not I, agree. I like. I would like to see it, it to be focused. If whatever story is, I would like them to kind of lead you through it a little bit more than a pure open world game. But who knows? I mean, we still yeah. don't really know how the game's going to play. Other than this is how you can play in that section. But I thought the combat looked really good. I thought parts of it looked Dark Souls esque, where enemies are like jumping up in the air and then slamming down on top of you, yeah. and you've got a bunch of different. It weapons. reminded me of a couple of areas, honestly, in Uncharted Four, because there's some areas in Uncharted Four that are just huge, that big, like that massive open world, and then there'll be kind of smaller sections. So I'm curious to know if it's going to be that, or if it's just going to be really gigantic and you're just doing a lot of quests. I don't know. We'll see. And there's looting and crafting. Yes, there is. <laughs> you're tired, aren't you, Dave? I am incredibly tired. <laughs> So, next we saw a trailer, I guess, for Detroit becoming human. It, it gave it was more than a trailer. It was a trailer like showed how gameplay could work, but it wasn't It wasn't just like play. it wasn't just like a trailer like you just see like a little bit of a story going on. It was, it's a gameplay reveal trailer. Yeah, yeah. it showed like a yeah. scenario because, like eight different ways. Yeah, what they did is they, they had a, a full gameplay trailer of an entire like little scenario, all the cinematic angles, and then it got to the end of the trailer. The events concluded, and then it like reversed like one scene, and then it showed like sixteen different trailer endings you could like change, which was yeah, really which, cool. Having played Heavy Rain, knowing yeah. how little decisions and little things can mess up an entire character's storyline, this looked like way more um, extensive. I'm excited to watch Dave play because knowing them, like you can't ever change it. Once once something <laughs> happens, there's no going back. I'll find a way. I'll mod away. No, there's literally no I'll way. I'll mod away. It would be. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's just gonna play with his hand on the power cable. No, no. Even even would. heavy rain, you couldn't do it. No, you really? could. You could actually. What I'll do is I'll break the fuse. Cut it open. off instead of like. If you cut it off immediately. Yeah. You would. It wouldn't stay. I think it only is a certain extent. Though. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'll I'll get a, a extension cord <laughs> with a power strip. It's just a switch. I'll play with one finger on the switch at all times. Just put it on your feet like you're. Dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It'd be a dead man switch. You have to hold it down as soon as you release for any reason. <laughs> I, I like sneeze. <laughs> now I wonder if they are going to let you replay scenarios. I don't think so because they said you have to live with your choices. Did it? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Either it could be like, you can live with your choices, or you could change them if you want. <laughs> it, lo it looked really cool. I think I think I'll think enjoy so, it. So, knowing, knowing what Heavy Rain was like. Because it was fun when we played Heavy Rain, seeing what happened on your game and what happened on mine. Yeah. Like, okay, like, I had to do the driving survived. challenge, you did something <laughs> else. Like, what's that? What? That's <laughs> how my people survived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, my guy went out like a hero. You probably thing. went out like I, a coward. <laughs> oh, mine went out living. Like, mine went out like a dad. Ooh, no. Living for his kid. <laughs> so he good job, dead hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna raise my son. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm assuming that's coming out sometime next year. I mean, that's, yeah, I don't. Yeah. They didn't say any date. So uh, then they talked about PSVR. Now we already know that. We already knew the price, but they announced October 13th PSVR releases, which is probably when Neo was scheduled to release before they got the Microsoft leak and went, oh shit, and <laughs> pulled it back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, didn't they, I thought they already said October, but they didn't really act, give an actual date. They, they, they said, like, I think it was like, around October. Oh, okay. There I'm was a sure. rumor okay. for it being around PSVR. So they showed off a demo for a very creepy looking game yeah. that we pretty much talked the whole time about when we made fun of Dave because Dave doesn't really do horror games and we talked about how slowly Dave would be crawling through the level and then Joy was talking about how much she would be scared to watch Joy, Joel play through it <laughs> and I think I would be very excited to film one of you guys <laughs> playing through it maybe you just hold each other we should do a, let, we should do a let's play that would actually be really for fun. the casual shenanigans channel that would be really awesome you let's playing Resident <laughs> Evil on VR <laughs> One camera up here, one camera in your pants. One yeah, pants. moisture, moisture sensor. In the pants. <laughs> <laughs> like a little we can take turns off. and go through the game. That'd be fun. Nah, just you. Okay. Um, but it's coming out January twenty fourth. When they announced it was actually Resident Evil. I mean, were you guys all surprised? I was very surprised, honestly. Yeah, I was really surprised. Um, because they said the demo is coming out tonight as well. Like it's yeah, downloadable I'm now. Be downloading and so I guess home. what I was most surprised is that okay, I wonder what the game's gonna look we like. Do that after I'm, this I'm curious to know what the game's gonna look like on PS4 without VR. Like, is the game gonna look 
better? You know, like I mean, how is it? Because the game looked pretty good mm -hmm. for VR for the VR. You know, so I'm like, how? Well, what's it gonna look like? So I'm skeptical because one, every it's all pre-release footage that they showed off. So you can never take that at face yeah. value. And then also, um, they said these images have been reformatted to fit your screen. So for all you know, they just did like a walkthrough and then just rendered the game separately. Using yeah, possibly. Or something. So I, I think more to do what that means is instead of looking at Oculus Rift crap footage where it's all warbly and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it just means I'm just showing <laughs> the actual. I, I'm still. Mountain. I'm not. I'm not excited about. I'm just that. saying. No warbly mountains in the background. <laughs> I mean, it's not just Oculus Rift warbly. Like PSVR would look exactly the same. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying that's what the little device is for is right. to put it out on the screen so you can I, see. The I, I'm mountain. not excited about how any of the games look. One, until we're not seeing a horribly compressed YouTube stream. Yeah. And then two, until <laughs> they're close to release because it's all it's all pre release yeah. stuff. But, but, the, but the important thing though is Resident Evil needed a new direction. Yeah. And I think and I think. It's the, definitely the horror Hill direction. Yeah, it's not the the open world daylight Africa action game <laughs> that uh. Six was. Um, but then they showed off Farpoint, which looks like it's going to be a VR exclusive, possibly. Uh, which we don't really know if it's a full game or just like a short Mars or something maybe like, like a that. three hour game. Yeah, we don't we don't know how long yeah, it's going to be, but it it, it looks they, like they some looked, sort of look impressive though. Like for me, shooter. honestly, I was impressed that like yeah. This looks more like a game than just a straight up, I don't know, a duck hunt type thing. You know what I mean? Like I, know. I saw a lot of aliasing, so <laughs> ruined for me forever. <laughs> uh, then they showed off the Battlefront X Wing VR mission, and Joel's face was Joel like that of a small up. kid. <laughs> that, <laughs> I it, was getting, I got chills. <laughs> it looked <laughs> really amazing. Well, they yeah. had the live orchestra playing too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, they, that, had, oh, they I had live they had chills. Of, oh, they had the. They had all the. It shit. looked really good. Joel, can, you, can you get those settings out? Are you okay? <laughs> you see all the tie fighters flying. I was, so I, yeah, it's going to be. Out. It's going to be probably. I'm going to enjoy, <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy that what? game so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you just say you learned. You see the orchestra, pin fighters, <laughs> tie space, Spade. battle VR, jump PlayStation. Like speed. <laughs> word. You guys should take me when I first play that. You guys probably. Oh, yeah, that, that will be. Something. But you'll, 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 you'll tell your kids. Well, I'm gonna day. come dressed up like Darth Vader. <laughs> we should have like a full event for Joel. The, the only problem is because it's VR, we won't be able to see Joel's eyes as they go to the size of half dollars. <laughs> you won't have to see it. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see everything else. <laughs> um, so it's probably just gonna be one mission. It sounds it, like for Battlefront. Where it's like a pair of goggles. Yeah, if they pair it on with <laughs> buying Battlefront, that'll be cool. Yeah. If it's like Pure, yeah, Pure if, it's a, if it's something you have to buy separately. I'm Assuming it's gonna be like an in-the-box demo that comes with PS4. I hope so. Uh, and then Arkham VR they announced. We know nothing about it. It was, but just it was a cool teaser. hearing Mark Hamill's voice. That was yeah. pretty awesome. I'm guessing that's also gonna be a, a, like a standalone in-the-box small section of something. Yeah, if, I would if, assume. If that I like I would be so freaking like amazed if that was somehow like the first Arkham Asylum just in VR, just like a third person action. Because I mean the game's yeah, so old I, now, I, I don't think that would have any trouble. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to hear more about yeah, that. Yeah, but so. I don't think it's gonna be that. And then Probably the, just be Batman and just walk around like in his room. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's a teaser. I know. <laughs> Uh, just that, choose mad. Then they uh, showed off the Final Fantasy VR experience, which also looks like a standalone. Well, they showed mission. Final Fantasy, and then they showed the, ex the experience right. after. And you're pr you said you're probably going to. I'm going to. I'll buy five, Final Fantasy 15. Okay. I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll try it if the demo. I didn't understand anything about. that I saw about that. Like literally nothing. I was just like, "This is is this like the same game? Are these are these, are these jump cuts connected? Or did someone hit the montage?" You said, the the final like, there's space, and they're driving on the road and fighting monsters, and there's hey, a chicken running through the water. Like, and the, the, you know, I know. I think I know what the Final Fantasy series is like. It's like Fast and Furious. <laughs> like, but they're at what what level? Fast uh, Final Fantasy was the game? Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, so wait, wait, this what? is what we can probably expect of Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah, like they're gonna be on the moon, it. kicking ass against aliens, and they're gonna be like oh, riding the Transformers yeah. crossover. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna see like a big jump, and they like jump get out of the car and like catch onto a rocket or something. <laughs> they have to go back in time Dude. to help King Arthur help them <laughs> in the future. I want that. Ooh, the next Fast Furious will take to the skies. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in jets. <laughs> Vin Diesel's crammed into a cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> One last ride. <laughs> it's like, 
you Tyrese that, like, is like, whoa, yo, jets, I don't know how to fly these. Who let him in there? And then they gotta that do cost a hundred million dollars. They gotta do an e-break. <laughs> Knowing them, they'll like they'll really have taken F 35s and like wrecking them into the yeah. ground. They're gonna they're gonna take a jet and put nitrous tanks in it. <laughs> <laughs> he flips open where the guns normally would be, and it's just a NOS button. But they also like the speaker panels come up like <laughs> <laughs> And they launch from the moon to the earth in their car. He has four controller <laughs> pops out for the steering. Michael Bay sheds a single tear. <laughs> You've done well, my son. <laughs> I can teach you no more. <laughs> anyway, so then they showed off Infinite Warfare, and I think we're pretty sure that's not VR. Yeah, because I, they did. I think it was just back to back after all the. Uh, yeah, it was they, weird because it didn't look good enough to be. Oh uh, yeah, and also our, also our stream was pretty bad too. Yeah. But yeah, like it 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 looked like it could be in a uh, VR game. Right, but, then but it was a really VR. nice looking VR game. Right, right. it looked like a really nice VR game, but a really bad Call of Duty quality. The the weird part for me, part. I'm, I'm not, I've been out of Call of Duty for a long time since Modern Warfare One. <laughs> long time. <laughs> you missed a bit. <laughs> you played two. We play a little bit of two. And that's right. We played some co-op and yeah. a little bit of the single player. But um. I actually realized what it's Call of Duty at first, I, and even after knowing that, I think it actually looks quite good. The space battles look like some of the most interesting it space battles fun. we've seen. Yeah, definitely. And I, like, space is not usually an FPS genre that interests me, so... Well, they went to space already once, yes, was it? You haven't tried massive. Ghost 2? It's because space is the I final call, Yeah, it was like a, a small section. The ocean okay. is the bullshit, not the space. <laughs> but... Yeah, Infinite Warfare, they showed off a gameplay demo about five minutes long doing a big battle in space that looked like typical Call of Duty. Everything's exploding, everything's going to crap. Screaming. Screaming. And the main character's kind of a dick because he willingly, like, makes people suffocate in space, <laughs> freeze to death, vent out of a ship. like Rips their robot spines out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was definitely a little bit of, like, we don't know what they were doing fighting earlier. for truth, yeah, they justice, they and all We don't know the backstory of the history yeah. of these two groups. That's yeah, yeah. true. They, they could have been They horrible. probably deserved They could have been douchebags suffer. to him in high school and yeah. now he's getting back. Yeah. Yeah. They could have been from not America. America. <laughs> judge. Judge other people's murder. <laughs> Uh, and then they showed off Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Just It's the original Modern Warfare trailer redone in the remastered graphics, and it looks nice. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to see a little bit more actual gameplay. They don't yeah. need to, though. Everybody's going to buy yeah, it. Yeah, I, I know, but, but I still wanted to see it. <laughs> and then they showed... Crash Bandicoot. They showed cool one too. screen with a silhouette of Crash Bandicoot like hopping along. They said, we're remastering Crash Bandicoot, and then they moved on. So this is like at least a year, year and a half out. This is probably like holiday. The they say they are remastering? Yeah, I thought, I they, thought, said, I thought they said, I thought they said we're, we remastered. I, I didn't hear we're remastering. Hmm. Well, either way. Regardless. Okay. They didn't announce a release date. They didn't announce a release gameplay. date, but the whole gameplay. point was to then push on to the Skylanders. I think. Yeah, in the show that it, it's... I bet, you, I bet you Crash Bandicoot will have a full out game, like a new game next year. Maybe next year. I'm sure They'd if it was this year, though, they would have announced it. They would have announced it for this holiday season if it was coming out this year. I bet year, if though. this trilogy or the remaster does the well, it'll probably be this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then showed off Skylanders Imaginators. You guys care about that? <laughs> I don't care about that, but it looks like a good idea. Like being able to be more creative with the. I would, wouldn't mind drawing my own character. Because, well, I mean, they had the. Before they had like the swap, you could have a different top and bottom, which would give you different powers. <laughs> so, it's swap out the tops and the bottoms. <laughs> Can I just have two bottoms? Why are they all male bottoms? <laughs> bottom on the top, bottom on the bottom. Get a power bottom? <laughs> power bottom. <laughs> She's got a bottom bottom. <laughs> So anyway, Lego Star Wars. <laughs> the, the Star Wars music starts again. I love how every time the Star Wars music starts, everyone looks at Joel just so he goes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that motion again? again? <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure shiver. Ooh, he's awake. <laughs> um, I like. I think they've done this with the last quite a few Lego games where they're using all the dialogue from the actual movie. Harrison Ford actually recorded new lines for really? the game. Really? Yeah, thought, oh, I thought I was done. <laughs> there's some uh, actual, I think some DLC, I think, for the cool. either pre-order or for Sony or something like that. I thought it was a little out of place with all the games that were coming out later. And then they said, it's the two weeks available now. And then the whole thing's coming out in two weeks. Yeah. It, yeah, There's well, I mean, does. it's not a big drop to do at the beginning of the show. They, I think it was probably fine where it was. I think they just wanted to play the Star Wars theme. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then a big orchestra there, you kind of have to. Yeah. And then, in a very cool moment, they brought out Kojima, and according to Jason Schreier, he tweeted that the uh, that the orchestra just started chanting F Konami, <laughs> like when he walked out on stage. <laughs> uh, That's but, amazing. But Kojima walked out and just went, I'm back! <laughs> 
<laughs> for, me. For, for such a humble guy, that was kind of a cool moment of, yeah, you like me. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey, girl. Uh, and then they showed a trailer for Death Stranding with Norman Reedus, and it looks like a Kojima game. It's really weird, it's kind of creepy, it makes you feel sad, and you're not really sure why. It's <laughs> super confusing. <laughs> Did you see that, um, the, the image, the that he released not too long ago that it honestly looked a little bit like a Halo like Spartan suit with somebody in it and so yeah. oh yeah yeah I, I was I'm, I'm on because he does so many like funny tricks and tries to like you know not like basically tease the wrong thing I'm curious to know if it's gonna have nothing to do with that and that was just more of just kind of be like <laughs> a red herring yeah, yeah honestly um, which I, I, I hope so I hope it's like uh, the PT Silent Hills or it's just like another idea that he uses in that same way in that same vein my question from that was, um, was that really his naked butt? <laughs> or did they get a butt double? Did they, did they scan, do full scans? Yeah. Uh, that, so that was actually Kojima's butt. It was modeled in place. <laughs> this is my sacrifice. Really awkward. Like Mel Gibson put his hands in there for the Passion of the Christ. It's kind of the same thing. It's Kojima's butt. <laughs> it reminds me of It's Always Sunny when they're doing the shower scene, like Mac and then they have like the butt double. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm guessing, because, th I mean, they I just formed the Kojima biggest, Productions. That was a big F you, though, putting Norman Reedus back in the... It was, immediately. but are you thinking, this is probably 2018 at the oh, earliest. Oh, yeah, at, at the earliest. earliest. Yeah. I mean, they, they said a month ago, yeah. like, they haven't even really started work on the game. This is just, like... we like, don't have a concept, but we thought this trailer was cool. <laughs> I think he actually said that a couple months ago. He's like, yeah, we're not really sure what the game's going to be yet. We're going to work on something. But, I mean, he just finished working I mean, on with that, that trailer for 20 straight pretty years. much anything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if you think about it, like, it honestly is kind of genius doing something like that, because it is so, like, for me, like, it's mysterious. Like, what the crap is this? I do kind of want to know what's going on. It's so, like, you're not going to like mistake that for something else like oh I think that was the Star Wars trailer you know what I mean like you're gonna remember remember that one with I the naked guy and the whales and like Wait, some people floating in the you air you guys didn't get with all the whales and the, the, the dead baby with the black it's it's a statement about our dependence on foreign baby oil <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dark oh god <laughs> foreign baby oil we don't use our US oil oh, <laughs> we're not gonna follow those jokes where they could go so then they showed off uh, Spider-Man. Insomniac's working on Spider game. Spider Man. Spider game. Spider Man. <laughs> Spider -Man game. Now, some people had been thinking that Sucker Punch might be working on a Spider Man game. Which would have made sense. Which would have made sense given the uh, the infamous games. And there was like some leak which was I guess fake at this point, where they were gonna do an infamous collection and mm. show off a demo for Spider Man. But Insomniac is making a Spider Man game and it's unknown whether that ties into the new Spider-Man movies. I don't think it does. It didn't, not it, didn't, the same voice. it didn't sound like the same voice. No. I think they're going from the ground up. I think that's going to benefit to them because the, some of the best Spider-Man, except for Spider-Man 2. Yeah, the best. <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man wasn't really based on anything, and that was a really good It game. was good because it had all the villains and stuff in it that yeah, you could Yeah, so really, they could just go yeah. any direction they wanted. Yeah. yeah. I think so, kind of like almost like a, the Rocksteady games, honestly. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't have to trying to follow like the Nolan film well, draft actually, the, 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 the universe yeah. I'm ready for a new Spider-Man a good Spider-Man game the PS3 Spider-Man the, not the PS3 but that era Spider-Man thing weren't that bad like uh, Shattered Dimensions wasn't bad I just feel like there was not much to do. I mean, I I, wasn't bad, I, but I played just, a bunch of them on great. the PC. I didn't play any on the console. On it, it, was, it wasn't open world. That's the that's the thing they went away from. And the Amazing Spider-Man games weren't. That the web sling wasn't very good. I think in a lot of the, the newer games, like it just there's, there were some older games that were just I don't know. It was kind of like hard to do, but it was really two, satisfying. Two was yeah, it was satisfying. Was I, own, when it I own all those. So if you ever want to compare, um, I literally own all the different Spider-Man. Do you guys games? know there's a Spider-Man game that came out in 2014? You want to remember that? What, which one was on that? On PS4. One? There's already been a Spider-Man game on PS4. Which one was that I don't remember yet? the name. Well, I've got Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, was it that one? And Amazing Spider-Man. Now if I search PS4 Spider-Man, all I'm going to get is... Uh, I, I guess they just, they always felt like... The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, yeah, that's a PS4 Yeah, game. They, I guess to me they always just looked like, I don't know, bin, like $5 bin games. Movie tie-in games. Yeah, yeah, yeah movie tie-in games. Yeah, like they never felt like, here's, I don't know, Passion. We really wanted to make this like huge open world, like really detailed. We like, licensed, yeah. this, we licensed yeah. this engine. We had six months to make it. We just yeah. copied some assets over. <laughs> now that was the second to last thing they showed. I have a theory, and I want to hear what you guys think. I've got a theory too. They they ended the conference with a theory. Days Gone demo. Days Gone being the Sony Bend motorcycle post-apocalypse game. Um, my theory is 
when they announced earlier this week that Neo is real and is not going to be at E3, I think they saw the Microsoft leak and then realized that maybe their plan needed some reworking. I think that's and I think coming they, in underpowered. They pulled it from the conference and then moved the Days Gone demo from the beginning and moved it to the end as like a nice strong finish. Because imagine if you had the God of War demo and then Days Gone shown off and then the Days Gone demo. Like that would have been like a, I mean it was already, and then Last Guardian, it was already, and then Horizon Zero Dawn. So it was already gonna be like an incredible opening to the show, but it would have been that yeah. much stronger. And they always like, have the, and there's one more thing type scenario. Yeah, so I, I kind of felt tonight. like the yeah. ending f- didn't fall flat, but it really did feel like something was missing. They, yeah, they, had, they were planning. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It, oh yeah, and I think I mean we predicted that pretty well. I mean earlier, I think that I mean it's a super smart move. It's I think it's the best thing they could have done. Like mm-hmm. there's nothing else. I, yeah. I without I guess tuning my own horn, I really think I was right, and the Neo they were going to show off was going to be a tiny bit faster, play 4K Blu-rays, do 4K streaming, and all that stuff. And given that the three hundred dollar new Xbox did all the 4K stuff minus the actual that's gameplay. What I said way earlier yesterday. No, I know we've, we've been talking about it for a while. I'm saying, but that's for weeks. I'm thinking Sony looked at that and went, oh, we can't charge four hundred bucks for this. Like this is gonna, especially announcing it after Microsoft's, this isn't gonna look good. So yeah. I think they're going back to retool it and come back later. Probably maybe like PSX or something. They'll have a announcement yeah. of a more powerful one. I mean, also I think I mean I think Xbox also I think announced. Their, the whole 4K gaming system really early too. I mean, that's also yeah, was way fall early. last year. So I think they even announced it earlier than I think anyone expected as well. Well, I think Sony was only expecting just the, maybe the slim and maybe not the full 4K because that's really freaking early. Honestly, all that specs could completely change by next year. I don't know. I, like, think, I don't no, think they, they, don't think they I have think an they, actual system. They're I doing think the way that with. they worded that conference earlier today, true 4K gaming. I think they had Sony's specs in mind I think Honestly, so I think that was kind of a yeah we're gonna like get, well I mean they, they, pro- well, they probably heard the rumors of the same rumors everyone else is hearing right and, and with that know, but they don't know that, in their yeah. scripting they're saying yeah, yeah we're gonna have a true yeah, the way they reference it so many times it really seemed like there was some behind the scenes like skullduggery going on between the two companies because it seemed like Xbox had more of the cards and maybe Sony got a leak ahead of time and then pulled theirs and then shuffled their comments around. I think overall both conferences were awesome. Yeah. But it seems like if one of them won, Well I'm just saying it wouldn't it wouldn't have made any sense if, if Sony let's say Sony does have a four K actual gaming system in the works, but they were gonna announce tonight just their their slim version or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. That would be not good to announce. Right. Because they've already announced the 4K gaming, they're not ready to announce their 4K gaming machine yet. So I think that was the issue, probably not their, oh, we were actually planning to release a 4K gaming machine that was at half, or, you know, sl- much higher, but not as high as they no, were No, but going. they had rumored specs. That yeah, put but it, I don't think they were even close to it. put it in, like, though. four point something teraflops. Of, yeah, but that's all rumors, so right, who yeah. knows. But, yeah, I mean, what did you guys think about the end of the conference? I, to me, it felt like they probably retooled it a little bit. It yeah, felt I mean, like a, that's it. Yeah, type ending. It felt like there should have been another. I think. I mean, because we all heard the rumors. I think right. that was the biggest thing. Outside of that, I mean, they had f- like every game was just like phenomenal. Outside of, like, yeah, games. yeah, they, they showed they off that. a lot of really great stuff. But they it didn't. They've done this a couple times now, where their press conference is just games, and that's awesome because yeah. we're here to learn about games. But to me, what was more exciting about Xbox was they weren't just talking about games. All the games they showed off, Xbox did, were coming out way earlier. Like a lot of these are games that are yeah. for next year or twenty eighteen or maybe even twenty nineteen. Who knows with yeah. the difference game. Too but, is and, but Microsoft is all like this is coming out in two months. This is coming yeah. out in three months. This is coming out in four months. And this is where On we're going all platforms. Yeah, this is where we're going with our entire platform and this is how we're making yeah. Xbox your future. And Sony it felt like it was just awesome game, awesome game, awesome game, awesome game. Which from a story perspective, I think the games they were showing off are better. From pure do you think? Do you think we're gonna see a uh, the Slim 4K like or like you know Blu-ray player edition version of it? The PlayStation 4S <laughs> announced a little bit, little bit later. Like even like even honestly, like a week from now or if they're doing week, it, I think they're you know just quick. more of like hey, we're announcing. I this, think you know, I, I, but not making a whole. I honestly think they're retooling their strategy. I really do, because just a couple months ago, Phil Spencer said, "No, we're not interested in making a console, another console." And which is a t- to me a total deflection from what they were actually working on. Yeah, they are totally but, but, lying. But there has to be there has to be lying. Cause, I mean, like if we're hearing rumors of an Xbox like a new version coming out, which well, like, well, we heard about the Neo like a month and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, we we two, heard, mo- two months ago. Two months ago, and we yeah. didn't hear start hearing about the Scorpio like with 
actual numbers attached to them till like a few weeks ago. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, Microsoft I mean, numbers the entire, entire time. Of course, and the rumors from Neo anything. were supposed yeah. to be around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I, I think Neo. it's very likely that they were supposed to do Neo. But anyway. But it's honestly, I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be good for both of them. You know what I mean? They showed off good games. I, I feel like Microsoft probably has a stronger hand going into the fall because their slim 4K capable console is coming out like in August or something. So, and a lot of the big powerhouse games they showed off are coming out in the next few months. Whereas a lot of Sony's are coming out next year at the earliest. Ambiguous. I think, I think <laughs> I mean, their, their next big ones are, is PSVR, Call of Duty, which isn't a, you know, exclusive, but it's, it's the PSVR stuff and last, or Horizon Zero Dawn in February. Like, so they don't have that strong of a fall unless PSVR does crazy yeah. well. But it's said fifty games throughout. This fifty year, games, right? but I think there's a very good chance a lot of those are like. But the even small even if there's not fifty, that's a crap ton of games for VR, honestly. <laughs> if there's not fifty, then how do you know? It could be five. I mean, yeah, if it's five. <laughs> that's not much. But My honestly, I'm expecting how many of those are games really you want to play, and how many of those are going to be like the Oculus yeah. Ride the Roller Coaster game. Like it's <laughs> that's cool true. To try but so far, twice. they've shown I think some of the best actual VR oh, yeah. games that I've seen so far. That's other. There's that other. I think a Drift. That one looks fun. Now the one thing they got better views, but didn't cool. hear was Fallout VR. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't talk about. Well, he, well, I mean, they mentioned the whole 4K gaming machine for Xbox One. Right. So I think. I think we might see that if whatever if Sony does a 4K thing. Dave, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long couple days. Were any of those games games you think you might want to play on your PS4 since you mostly play it for Battlefront and then The Last of Us? Yeah, I, I've actually been thinking that over a bit. Um, I think a couple of those story based ones, especially if they're Sony exclusives, are going to be ones I pick up. Because mm-hmm. um, you don't really like care about God of War as a series, because you never no, played no, it back no. in the day. I, I was really impressed with the the new preview, but again, it's this late in the series. I'm not going to get invested now. I um, think though they they've made it so people can jump in. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think oh, you have to I'm know sure. Kratos' whole backstory. But my problem is not a lack of games to play for by any means. So I'm going to kind of pick and choose, but. Uh, the uh, what was the zombie game again? I forgot the name. Days Gone. Days Gone. Really impressive demo. Uh, even though it did feel like the conference ended with a bit of a kind of a soft note, just kind of dwindled away. Uh, that was a good game, a good long demo to, to show it off on. Uh, really impressive technology on the zombies. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, that was more zombies. I think that's more than Left for Dead. It looked like that was actually really impressive. It reminded me of uh, the Brad Pitt movie War Z. War yeah, Z. yeah, the, yeah, the zombies are tumbling it, over each other. It actually not, looked was actually War Z. War Z. I feel like I'm talking. No, no, World War Z. World, World War Z. Not yeah. War Z. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> World War Z. There you go. They made a movie. <laughs> no, well, they, don't forget they actually sued War Z because of the name. It was too similar. They had to change it to Romero's Zombie Apocalypse, whatever. Then they got sued for that name too. They became like Survivor Stories, or I don't even know. Infestation, now, survival diary. I have diary a theory, stories. guys. I have a theory about the consoles. How raging? How raging? <laughs> what? How raging is your theory? <laughs> um, Ten point two. <laughs> with Xbox doing the 4K gaming, and if Sony does retool, what if this causes like a space an race of race. consoles? An arms race of consoles. So all those advantages one? they've been talking about yeah. against computers for a while, they're like, yeah, forget all that. <laughs> like, what if the like, Sony comes out it's like ours is. Twice is that we're going 8k month. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's just like, oh yeah, for $200 too. Like they just go down in the ground. <laughs> Intel yeah. Xeon yeah. hyper thread hexacore. Yeah, they just like pull out all this stuff. Just to they bring out an Nvidia executive with a gun to their head. They're like, who's getting 1080s for cheap? <laughs> you were the king of like. Dragon Ball Z scenario. <laughs> it's no. not like, yeah, they're gonna come out and just you know on top. It's like they're coming out like forty k and like for three dollars. It's always like something so far past. There's a flashlight in the side. <laughs> <laughs> My sex bot. <laughs> Her name is Sony. <laughs> I mean, I'm just joking, but I I think it's honestly a really good thing. I'm really excited that Xbox did that because I think. Like sweet, I love PlayStation. I hope they go. All right, we we have to make sure we can't we can't go. We gotta always stay up for what we did for the last time. For because mm-hmm. PlayStation Four came out really well, it would be horrible if they're like, no no no, we got a good system, we'll be fine. Let's just do a little bit update and like 
I think they could easily I mean, that's, that's again. the mistake Microsoft made when they announced the Xbox One. Yeah. Sure, it plays games. Let's talk about the TV features. Yeah. And they're like, this is a pretty strong all around console. Then Sony was like, guess what? Games, 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 <laughs> games, games. We're yeah. cheaper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about on the podcast. I've got lots more theories I want to talk about about Xbox stuff. But PlayStation Conference. How would you rate it amongst the other conferences? Classier. <laughs> it was the classiest, I think. Um, Very enjoyable. But I would say it's just a, it's a dip under the Microsoft, just because it was exciting to see the. I give it an eight point five ish. Yeah. Just because that they they didn't cover a lot of stuff I thought they were going to cover. What yeah. was the stuff you were there? You well, were, I mean, <laughs> Vita. <laughs> well, <laughs> take, no take one two has covered. definitely not been there in a big way. What? Take two. Yeah, interactive. Well, they didn't say well, it was going to be at they, Sony. They just what said was the last time they announced anything at E3? They said they were going to have a big presence at E3. That's all uh, we know. So they're going to be at this week. Be a, it could be later this week. That's true. Week. Yeah, but what what else is this week? Except for It would have been great to I mean, have, like, well, if we you get sometimes have, other reveals for later in the we week. We could, like, but if we were going to have, like, a Red Dead Redemption reveal or something, it would have been better to have it at a press conference. Yeah. I was surprised to not see any Dark Knight remasters. Or Bioshock, remember? I'm surprised we didn't see any of that stuff. Because it's already been shown. Like the whole. No, it yeah, hasn't. We don't know about yeah, the Bioshock Dark Knight. remaster. No, we oh, oh, the Bioshock leaked. one. Yeah, the, oh, well, the Dark Knight one. Yeah, I mean that's leaked. out. I Arkham. Think. Arkham Knight. Sorry, yeah. that's been out for a while now. It's well leaked. Yeah, they haven't like shown off what exactly they're doing really. So that's I, I kind of agree. I, I thought we would see more stuff. But that there's we a, there's like about. there's actually gameplay. It shows what it looks like. No, you haven't seen that one uh-uh. yet. I don't think there is. We'll talk about later. We'll talk about later. Um, but anyway, the Sony press conference. What do you guys? How would you rate it? I gave it eight point five. Well, how would you rate it amongst all the oh. other? Oh, it's second place. Okay. Yeah. They play Star Wars in the orchestra pit. I mean, that was, yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, Bear McCreary ordinarily would would be a nice little push up there, but yeah, I say second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, second. Cool. Well, we're all in agreement. This is kind of rare. <laughs> I think they had the best games, though. Like, I think overall they had the best games, but I think for just, like, presentation-wise and, like, the hardware, and that was awesome. I think they have some of the games that look like they could be the best, but a lot of them are so far out that it's kind of like, by the time, who knows what we'll be hearing about from Microsoft or from someone else by the time some of these games are really Wildlands. But, totally going to be everything. <laughs> but anyway, that's our Sony press conference. Anybody have anything else they want to mention before we go? Star Wars. <laughs> thank you guys for listening to Nintendo's our Nintendo's going to beat them all thank you for listening to our E3 recaps <laughs> be sure kidding. to catch the live recording of the podcast if you want to discuss in the live chat about your thoughts about E3 yeah. uh, Thursday 8pm Eastern Standard Time youtube.com slash I think it will actually be more likely to address people's comments since we've already talked a lot about this stuff mm-hmm. while we're all just talking opinions next time I think if you guys do actually join the live podcast, yeah, or maybe tweet some questions. Or yeah, we could take more questions from chat and stuff, if, or, or suggestions of yeah. of things about E three. If you guys want to talk about, we it. have the insider information. No. Exactly. <laughs> right into casual shenanigans at gmail dot com. Leave comments on any of the E three recap videos or any of Dave's watch. Total War videos. Yeah, also. any of Dave's Total War videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And tell him how much he sucks at Total and War. And please go to go to my comment section and start asking if I'm going to build a, a Scorpio killer. A Scorpio smell. Scorpio Scorpio smasher. Smasher. Come on, it just rolls off. So I'll, I'll call it the Wolverine. Do they eat scorpions? Who eats scorpions? It's close <laughs> enough. Nobody's saying. Bear, bear, bear grills probably eat scorpions. I'll call it the bear grills. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talk to y'all later. Stay casual.